If you see my other videos and thought this is cool but I just want a simple easy way to do in real life live streams then this is the video for you. Today I'm going to share with you a stripped down version of what I'd use when all else fails. You have a pretty decent IRL live streaming setup with some of the must have features I talk about for IRL live streaming like disconnect protection. Keep in mind if this could do everything I wanted for IRL I'd be doing it all the time. So there's a reason why I have those other videos More on that later. Okay with that out of the way you're going to need these these five things, a decent Android or iPhone with good video, audio and stabilization, a selfie stick or tripod, a battery bank and cable to keep your phone charged and maybe a wireless mic like this one. Also an unlimited mobile data plan or enough for one gigabyte of data for every hour that you live stream. And that's your IRL live streaming gear in a nutshell. Next up, download Streamlabs mobile from Google Play or the App Store. We're going with this app because it's available for iPhone and Android and does most of what we want for IRL live streaming. The default stream settings should be fine, but just for reference, I have mine set to 1080p 30 frames per second with a maximum bit rate of 3500 kilobits per second. In the scene settings, I've added a new scene and changed some of the widgets to hidden on stream. This way I can see them on my phone screen without them being shown to my viewers. After you've gone through and tweaked the settings, scenes and widgets, go back to the main app page with the go live button. There should be a way to flip the camera back and forth, mute unmute the mic, Turn on and off the live chat window which is not visible to your stream, switch scenes and more. When you're ready, tap on the go live button and follow the steps to stream to Facebook, Twitch or YouTube. Finally, let's quickly cover disconnect protection and how it works in Streamlabs Mobile. Normally this is a premium only feature as part of their Ultra subscription service, but I'm going to show you how to redeem it for free. But as a brand new user, you'll have to go live at least once with the Streamlabs Mobile app before you can do that. Okay, let's open the app and go to the settings menu. Streamlabs Mobile has a reward system where you can earn points just by using the app. In the task tab, it's 100 points to go live, 250 points when you get 5 viewers and so on. In the redeem tab, you'll see disconnect protection is 150 points, but, and this is important, this reward can only be redeemed 2 times a month. With that in mind, remember this as well, you can't redeem disconnect protection after you've gone live, you have to redeem it beforehand. So before starting your next stream, tap on the main menu button, rewards, then the redeem menu, scroll down and redeem disconnect protection. Go back to the main app page, tap on the go live button and follow the steps to start streaming. In summary, this is a decent entry level setup for someone wanting to do a couple of quick and easy IRL live streams. You've got a compact system that can fit in a jacket pocket or two, good video audience stabilization, enough battery life to last a few hours, a way to read chat and see alerts on your phone screen, and a disconnect protection for areas where your signal might be weak causing a lot of dropouts. There's limits to a setup like this, like having to keep looking at your screen to see alerts as they happen, like a new follower or donation, no custom disconnected scene instead of the default one, no custom privacy mode which also meets the microphone, no easy way to send your viewers to another Twitch channel and more, which you can learn all about in this playlist here. 